Carbs. Carbohydrates are like the fuel for your body, powering everything you do, from running to thinking about running. They're the bread and butter of your diet, but they don't get the love they deserve. Okay, let's be real. Carbs get a bad rap. You've probably heard someone say, oh, I'm cutting carbs to lose weight. Well, that's like saying I'm cutting oxygen to breathe better. Carbs are literally the reason you can function, the reason you can run around chasing your dog, or even just stay awake long enough to watch Netflix without face planting into the couch. They're not the villain in this story, they're the unsung hero. When you eat carbs, your body breaks them down into glucose, which is just sugar, and your cells gobble it up like it's the last slice of pizza at a party. But not all carbs are the same, like how not all pizza toppings are made equal. You have simple carbs, which are like a quick burst of energy. Think candy, soda, or white bread. Fast food for your body. Then there are complex carbs, which are like the thoughtful slow burn snacks. Whole grains, vegetables, legumes, these are the carbs that give you steady energy and keep you full, like a cozy blanket after a long day. Here's a fun little fact. Your brain runs almost entirely on glucose, meaning carbs are its VIP pass. Without enough carbs, your brain starts to throw a tantrum, kind of like a toddler who's overdue for their nap. You're sluggish, irritable, and forget why you walked into the room. So next time you're munching on a granola bar, thank it for keeping you sharp and keeping you from being the person who accidentally replies to an email with just a thumbs up emoji. But here's the thing, while carbs are essential, you have to make sure you're eating the right ones. You don't need to be gulping down those sugary energy drinks or snacking on pastries all day, unless you want your energy levels to crash faster than a meme coin after people realize it's not the next Bitcoin. Instead, reach for things like oats, sweet potatoes, or quinoa. These complex carbs are like a loyal sidekick that slowly releases energy into your bloodstream. And don't forget fiber. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that you don't digest, but it's crucial because it keeps your digestive system running smoothly and helps you stay regular because no one likes being constipated, right? No one's looking for that kind of drama in their life. Fiber is also helpful for controlling blood sugar and lowering cholesterol. So you can think of it as your body's unsung janitor, keeping everything clean and in check. Carbs can be your friend or your enemy, depending on how you treat them. If you're loading up on processed, sugary carbs all day, then yeah, they're gonna come back to bite you. But if you choose wisely and balance your intake, you've got yourself a golden ticket to boundless energy and clear focus. Protein. Protein is like the construction worker of your body. When things need fixing, protein's the one that steps in to rebuild, repair, and grow muscle tissue. It's basically the handyman for your muscles, tissues, and even your hair and nails. All right, let's talk about protein because, honestly, it's kind of the MVP of your diet. Protein is your body's literal Lego set, constantly working to repair things, whether that's from your workout, a cut, or just wear and tear from daily life. It's the reason you can build muscle, stay strong, and even look good in a tank top, or at least that's what we're all hoping for. Let's break this down. Protein is made up of tiny little building blocks called amino acids. Think of amino acids like the individual bricks in a Lego set. Some of these amino acids are essential, meaning your body can't make them, so you need to get them from food, like meat, eggs, or beans. Others are non-essential, meaning your body can just whip them up whenever it needs them. Together, they work to form muscle fibers and make enzymes, hormones, and everything in between. Without protein, you'd be basically like a Jenga tower that's one block away from crashing down. No bueno. Now for the fun part, how much protein do you actually need? Well, if you're a regular human just existing, chilling, and maybe walking your dog for a few miles, you don't need that much. But if you're into lifting weights, running marathons, or generally trying to turn into a superhero, your body will need more to repair and grow those muscles. Think of it like trying to rebuild a Lego castle. If you're making something huge, you need a lot more blocks. So yes, protein is crucial for muscle growth and repair, but it's also important for things like keeping your skin looking fresh, your immune system strong, and your energy level steady. It's the silent worker behind the scenes. But let's not get carried away. Protein is not a free pass to go eating like a bodybuilder in the 19s. You don't have to scarf down protein shakes and grill chicken every day like it's your job. Balance is key. Sure your body needs protein, but it also needs other macronutrients like carbs and fats to function properly. Think of it like building a house. You need the right amount of bricks, but you also need the cement and the framework to hold everything together. And before you say, but protein shakes though, let's just clear something up. You don't need them unless you're in a very specific situation. That protein shake after a workout thing, yeah, it's mostly a marketing gimmick. If you're eating a balanced diet, your body's got all the protein it needs. 
unless you're working out hardcore every day, a protein shake might not even be necessary. So don't get trapped in the hype. And here's a little nugget of protein knowledge for you. Plant-based proteins are just as good as animal-based ones, as long as you're eating a variety. So don't feel like you have to chow down on steaks to get your gains. Lentils, quinoa, tofu, and chickpeas can all give you the protein power you need. Just make sure you're getting the full spectrum of amino acids, which can be a bit tricky if you're vegan. But hey, if I can survive on pizza and french fries, you can totally make plant-based protein work. To wrap it up, protein is the quiet but essential player in the body's daily repair and growth cycle. Don't fear the protein, embrace it. Eat the chicken, the eggs or the beans, whatever makes you feel like you're flexing in front of a mirror, your muscles will thank you. Fat. Fat is like the cozy blanket your body needs to stay warm, but also the sneaky villain in the corner, waiting to make you uncomfortable if you don't handle it right. It's like the person at a party who can either make the vibe chill or just crash the whole thing. Alright, fat. Everyone loves to hate it. You've probably been on the low-fat or no-fat bandwagon at some point. But guess what? Fat's not the bad guy here. It's like blaming your car for not running when you've been putting in low-grade fuel. Your body needs fat to run properly. Seriously, it's like trying to watch Netflix without Wi-Fi, not gonna happen. Let's break this down into the simplest terms. Fat is a macronutrient, and just like carbs and protein, your body uses it for energy. Fat is also the stuff that keeps your organs cushioned and safe, because, let's face it, your liver is not going to appreciate it if you don't give it a comfy soft little fatty layer to hang out in. Not to mention, fat helps with the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K, basically the vitamins that let your body feel its best. Without fat, these vitamins wouldn't even be able to do their job, like a movie star trying to do a scene without a director. Just awkward. There are different types of fat, and some are better for you than others. You've got your healthy fats like those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and fish, and then you've got your unhealthy fats, like the ones in processed foods or those cheesy, greasy burgers. It's kind of like picking a party playlist. You want the right vibe to set the tone, or else the whole thing's gonna be a mess. Let's talk about the good fats first. Because let's be honest, everyone wants to know the secret to looking and feeling amazing. Healthy fats like omega-3 fatty acids from salmon and chia seeds are like the cool laid-back friend who helps keep everything calm and collected. They reduce inflammation, promote brain function, and even improve your skin's glow. They're the stuff that lets you feel like a boss. Healthy fats also help keep you full and satisfied so you're not reaching for snacks every 5 minutes like a hangry gremlin. These fats are essentially your body's anti-stress squad. But then there's the other side of fat, the villainous trans fats and excessive saturated fats. These are the fats that come from processed junk, like fried foods, snacks, or anything that's been sitting on a shelf for too long. Think of them like that person who shows up at a party, eats all the snacks, gets everyone riled up, and then leaves the mess for you to clean up. Not cute. When you eat too much of these unhealthy fats, they clog your arteries, raise your cholesterol, and give you that sluggish feeling like trying to run in sand. It's just not gonna work out. But, and here's where the plot twist happens. Fat isn't inherently bad. The amount and quality of fat you eat matters more than just avoiding fat altogether. Your body loves fat when you treat it right, like a puppy who's been well-fed and trained. But it also can turn into a disaster if you're feeding it junk food all day. If you find yourself eating more healthy fats, hello avocado toast or a handful of almonds and less of the junky stuff, your body will thank you by functioning at its best. Oh, and let's not forget about fat's true calling. It keeps you warm. You know that shivery feeling you get when you're cold? Well, your body uses fat to keep you warm like a high-quality winter jacket. It's the insulation that keeps your organs comfy when the temperature drops. Fat's not just a storage unit for energy, it's an essential part of your survival strategy. To sum it all up, fat is an important nutrient for your body's overall health. It's the thing that keeps you warm, keeps your hormones in check, and gives you that nice long-lasting energy. Choose your fats wisely, and don't shy away from them like they're the plague. Get in those good fats, and skip the ones that make you feel sluggish. And if you ever need a reminder, just look at the avocado. It's basically nature's way of saying, you're welcome.